I was like to, oh damn, I said her name. Off. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Whitney and today I am coming at you guys with a juicy story time. Today I'm gonna tell you guys about my trifling as lonely as boring corny. I'm gonna just tell you about my friends. <laughs> if you guys are interested in what has been going on because I'm sure you've seen the title then keep on watching. So this story goes back all the way to when I was 12 years old. Um, let's see uh i was in middle school i was in seventh grade and i believe i was in seventh grade i think i was in sixth grade to be quite honest with you either way sixth grade seventh grade whatever it was i was new to the school and you know because we were going from elementary school to you know middle school and then as you're sort of getting in you're sort of getting your bearings and all of that right you're starting to meet new people you're out here you're like making new friends and everything and people start building and making new clicks right so with this right like all of the friends that I had in elementary school like elementary school I, w I don't want to say I was popular or anything like that because who's really popular in elementary school but I was nice to everyone everyone liked me I was friendly with everyone like everyone I talked to everyone like there was no problem there was no animosity there was nothing right like we were all cool whatever like I had no qualms in elementary school but I go to middle school and middle school was really hard for me. That's where like most of my stories come from <laughs> because middle school, I don't know what happened. Like I realized I was ugly for the first time. I was picked on a lot. A lot of my friends sucked. And um, all right, let's just reel it in. Let's just reel it in. Let's talk about it, right? I was starting to lose a lot of friends during this period because a lot of people didn't necessarily want to hang out with me because I was a loser, right? Like I was ugly. I, people wouldn't want to hang out with me. So the friends that I currently had, their reputation was starting to get tarnished if they were hanging out with me. And I slightly understood because it's like kind of like horrible to get picked on if like it's not even your fault. Like people are just like, and I effing with you because you hanging out with her. Well then I'm just not gonna hang out with her. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like I'm not trying to have no beef with nobody and you know people would literally like some of the friends that I had would literally be like yeah you know maybe we can hang out outside of school but just you know maybe not here and I was like damn guys that's that's rough <laughs> but anyways so as I was continuing to lose friends or just like like um starting not to have friends because you know you grow apart or whatever right you grow in the distance or what I don't know what I'm trying to say whatever there's a distance there right and so um one of these friends that I had, I was friends with her since like third grade, right? And we grew apart and she was starting not to hang out with me because like, I want to say part of it was because like we grew apart another part, the majority part was because I was lame or whatever. Because like when we hung out, it was no problem. Like we could hang out with each other, no problem. She just didn't like hanging out with me in public. And so I'm going to call her Elena, right? So Elena was like, she was pretty dominant right like she was like I don't want to say dominant I want to stay mischievous like she was dominant in our friend group but she was very mischievous right like she was very like conniving and she would do things that like was kind of like suspect but like no one wanted to step up to her because it's just like you didn't want to be the next target right and even though like she was cool and everything like you also didn't step you didn't want to be on her bad side no matter what like even though she was smaller than all of us in the group she packed a big punch and so me and elena didn't necessarily talk at this time right like we were we maybe like said hi to each other in the hallways but not even all of that because it's like i don't talk to you why am i going to talk to you right so this was this was the year that i decided that i wanted to do something more than just track right because i've been doing track for a little bit not even for that long but i was doing track and i was like i want to try something different i'm in a new school i want to make some more friends i want to be a part of something right like i've always had this idea of trying to be like being a part of something that's bigger than myself so I was like I'm gonna try out for the cheerleading team 
and so I was talking to my friend Emily about it and I was like yo Emily we gotta try out for this cheerleading team and she was like okay like I guess we'll go and like she ended up going with me that day I don't remember if she tried out but she definitely stayed with me throughout the whole time like she was a real friend right and me and Emily like the day of cheerleading practices like before it was happening af after school like this during school right we were hanging out and then we ended up going to the bathroom I don't remember for what I think it was like lunchtime or something like that and we ended up going to the bathroom because I don't think the teacher would have let like both of us go to the bathroom so why are we there you know what I'm saying so we ended up going to the bathroom and there was a bunch of people in the bathroom not a lot like just a handful and Elena was in the bathroom and mind you I haven't really talked to Elena in a minute I you know was, she was just in there with her friends and I was in there with mine so we ended up using the bathroom whatever washing our hands and I say hi to Elena I was like hey and then she says you know hey to me kind of like hi you know what I'm saying and we're beginning to leave the bathroom and Elena is behind me and my friends and during that process Elena is having a conversation with somebody else and I definitely hear the conversation I overhear it but after Elena talks to that friend she says something to me and I was like what and Elena was a part of the cheerleading team right and she was like you're trying out for cheerleading right and I was like yeah because I was wondering how does she know that and she was like well you can't wear those shoes and at the time I was wearing Uggs because you know you're in the north and it's cold and Uggs was a thing during like seventh grade and she was like, well, you can't wear those shoes. And I like, I was like, okay, like that, th this is all I got. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> it was cold today. I decided to wear it. It is what it is, right? But I pretended that like, I didn't just hear the conversation that was behind me, right? So Elena at this time was very pretty, right? Like she was dating guys when she first got to middle school because guys were starting to look at her and they were like, oh wow, she's cute. Like she was really cute. She's down to earth. She's cool because Elena was a really cool person. And also Elena was dating this guy and I don't remember his name for the life of me. I'm going to call him D'Angelo. I hope that wasn't really his name, but you know, whatever. We're going to call him D'Angelo and she was dating D'Angelo. D'Angelo was an eighth grader at the time. Yeah, he was an eighth grader. So like here in middle school, you have sixth, seventh and eighth grade. We were like sixth grade or seventh grade. Either way, like we were lower classmen, if that makes sense. And he was upperclassmen. And it was popular for someone who wasn't in eighth grade to be dating an eighth grader. So these girls were talking to Elena and they were like, oh, are you dating D'Angelo? And she was like, you know, I didn't hear her answer or anything like that. And then the girls, I remember being like, oh, well, something yada yada, this, that, and third, like, oh, I didn't know you guys were dating something along the lines right because I was hearing the conversation because they were kind of like the girls I don't remember verbatim what they were saying but the message was like I didn't know that you guys were dating I'm going to back off right and Elena was like okay I appreciate that because I didn't even know that you guys were like in a thing or anything like that right but you know like just stay away from my man that's basically how she ended the conversation and the other girl was just like i respect that i didn't know i was just letting you know right and so the reason why i was paying attention was because i wanted to hear if there was a fight going on like i was definitely like nosy as as mess right like it was definitely nosy but at the time like keep in mind i thought what i heard was not what I just told you guys, right? So when I was listening to the conversation, I thought that I heard Elena say that she wasn't dating D'Angelo and that D'Angelo was like free for anybody. So I was wondering why they were arguing, like how she was like, stay away from my man if they weren't together. So as time progressed, you know, we ended up going our separate ways or whatever. Me and Emily keep on going. We go to class, we finish, and then we take the bus to go to cheerleading practice. We get to cheerleading practice. Lo and behold, we can't participate in the practice or anything like that. Why? Because we had the wrong shoes. Elena was there. She was like, I told you you couldn't wear those shoes. I didn't remember that. I was like, no, you didn't. She was like, yes, I did. I was like, okay, my bad. We're still not gonna be able to practice. You know what I'm saying? So me and Emily ended up leaving and practice typically ended at seven o'clock. So we knew that we had to be home around seven o'clock, right? We just hung out. <laughs> me and Emily were just chilling. We went to Subway, we went to Dunkin' Donuts, we went to CVS because 
the high school that these cheerleading practices were at it was right down the street from our houses like me and Emily lived down the street from each other and it was a blast listen and like the high school was literally like maybe a mile away from my house like we could literally walk and it was fine like our parents knew where we were and that we were gonna walk home because it was right there at the high school and so during this time I remember me and Emily were like chilling. I don't remember what store we were at because I remember we were like at CVS. We were like bouncing around to different stores, going to different corner stores, buying candy, like being really ridiculous because I don't know why we were buying candy when we had no money. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even know where we got the money from to be buying this candy and stuff, but we had to finish it by the time we got home. So it didn't make no type of sense. <laughs> Anyways, and so while me and Emily are out, I hear a couple girls mention Elena's name and I'm like okay they're talking about Elena and keep in mind during this time I'm kind of like grieving the loss of friends that I had because it was so many I was constantly getting picked on even people who lived around me who like lived in my neighborhood or something like that like some of my bullies rode my bus rode you know lived down the street from me whatever like if they saw me out it didn't end it was at school it was you know out outside of school it's just whatever you know it, eventually I got desensitized to it me and Elena were in we had to be in some type of clothing store or some type of store that had aisles because me and Emily were walking up and down the aisles we were just browsing we were talking we were having fun and in the other aisle I remember hearing Elena's name come up and they were like oh she's not dating D'Angelo like oh I'm gonna go to her man or whatever like that like I really like him I think he's cute I remember hearing that right and I also remember hearing that like Elena was doing some sketchy stuff keep in mind we're in middle school so like what could we be doing right and apparently everybody was doing everything in middle school and I just wasn't you know what I'm saying and so I remember it was three girls like one of them was blonde or something like that and they ended up walking behind us. Emily had no idea and if she did have an idea she didn't say anything about it because like I remember hearing it I don't know if she heard it but like we never talked about it and so we ended up leaving the store and I went home and I thought like okay I just heard some messy stuff about Elena and I mean Elena's not dating him keep in mind that's what I was thinking Elena's not dating him so I'm gonna tell her that these girls were talking about her and I'm gonna tell her what they said and I'm going to tell her you know like I'm just looking out for you I not trying to start nothing this is just the rumor that I heard so I get home and I get on my phone like my little sidekick or whatever right and I get on AIM. I don't know if you guys remember what AIM is, but it was like AOL Instant Messenger. That was like the thing, like way before Kick and all of that. That was like, I don't know. I don't even know if anybody uses Kick. I never used Kicked, Kick, whatever it is. But AIM was like the thing. Whenever you got on AIM, that's where you talk to your friends and everybody. Like that was it. So I get on AIM and I see her name and it was like her handle was like XO Elena XO or something like that with a whole bunch of O's, you know you know and so I email her and I was like or not email but I messaged her and I'm like hey I heard a rumor about you and she was like what was it and I was like I heard today by a couple of girls I don't know if you know them I don't remember their names or anything like that like I remember being like that like I didn't know them for real so they must be like a part of your group but I heard that they were saying that you were on some sketchy stuff and that you think that you're all free to do this because you're not dating D'Angelo anymore. And I just wanted to let you know because that's what I heard and I felt like it was not right for me to hear that and not say anything back to you. I really did think that Elena took this well and I really did think that she would not like react like this. But Elena said to me, she was like, okay, where did, where were you when you heard this? I told her. She was like, who said it? And I was like, I, I don't know who they are. All I know is that it was a group of three girls. Like, they were blonde. I don't know, like, if you know anybody <laughs> who run in a pack of three girls blonde, but this is where I heard it. And I just thought to tell you. I kept saying that. Like, I just thought to tell you because it wasn't, like, you know, cool or anything like that. And so she was like, okay. And she kept asking me questions about it, right? And I was just like, yeah, this is just, I, like I told her the same thing. She was like, okay, 
she never once said thank you for telling me she was just like okay cool and I was like all right that was it for the conversation the next day I remember being in class or whatever and then you know having all my days and stuff like that my day was great right I rode the bus went home practice wasn't that night like I was good I was set and then I get home I'm just chilling ready to go to bed and then I get a message right I get a message and it says I think it was you and I was like what was me because I didn't really like it was from Elena so I was just like I don't what was me because I wasn't thinking about her all day I wasn't even thinking about the rumor I wasn't thinking about nothing and she was like the rumor that you told me about I think it was you that spread it and I was like why would I spread it like I was the one that told you about it like why would I do that and she was like because it doesn't make sense when I said that I still am dating D'Angelo right because I told her from the jump I told her like I remember hearing in the beginning like in the bathroom that you said that you weren't with him so I think that's where those girls were putting two and two together that oh you're out here with other men or something like that even though like you just broke up with D'Angelo and then her response was like I'm still with D'Angelo so why would they be saying that and I was like I don't know like I don't know and she was like and in the bathroom I said that I was dating him so where does that come from? And so that conversation was there. And so I just thought it was done. Like she was gonna handle it, that was it. So the next day, she when she texted me, I think it was you, I was like, okay, what do you mean it is me? And she was like, I think you spread it, the rumor. And I was like, why would I spread the rumor, right? Like when I told you about it. And she was like, I don't know, but I'm going to beat your ass. I was like, what <laughs> me <laughs> i was like i'm this scrawny bony kid with a big forehead right like i don't like at this time i was mad shy i was mad to myself i was so weird like i, I literally was in my own shell and i was so loyal to all of my friends in my group like that was it right like that's it like I didn't talk to nobody else if people talked to me i was mad awkward that's why i got picked on so like who why where like you're gonna look mad dumb fighting me like for what for why for who and she was like <laughs> what does she say next she was like it doesn't make sense how i said that i was with d'angelo and you're over here saying that i wasn't and now people are thinking that i'm sleeping around with other people or that i'm doing things with other men and i was like but why does that that doesn't make sense just because I thought you said no, but I heard other girls saying that you weren't with him. And so she was like, why would the other girls be saying that I wasn't with him unless you told them about it? Because everyone knows that me and D'Angelo are together. And I literally, I remember responding like this. I was like, I don't know who everyone is, but all I know is what I heard. And I thought that it would be the right thing to do to tell you what I heard. I don't know why I thought that this was the greatest idea ever, that I thought that I was gonna be loyal to somebody who was never loyal to me from the jump. I don't know why I thought that I was being a good friend. I guess I was trying to start some shit. Like I guess at this point I was starting to, like trying to start some stuff because apparently a girl can't just tell somebody else that there's a rumor without getting in trouble for it. And I'm like, I didn't need to spread it. Like why would I do that? Why would I start problems for myself? That doesn't make no type of sense, right? And so she was just like, <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass I'm gonna beat your ass and I was just like what the fuck she was like no she was like don't let me see you tomorrow because I'm gonna run up like that's it like once I see you you and I are gonna have problems and I was like this does not sound like Elena and literally like once I thought that the next text text that came in was like this is Elena's best friend and you and I have problems and I said this this is you know back then in those days I wasn't the greatest texter because this did not make sense and my response to her was like I think it was you let me tell you <laughs> the response I got with that was not a great one and the mindset that I had at the time was like oh I thought it was her texting me throughout the whole time rather than oh now you just popping in I was like to oh damn I said her name off oh, 
the next text that came, I remember thinking like, this doesn't sound like Elena because the text was mad aggressive, right? And so literally, I don't wanna say it was like right afterwards, I feel, I don't know, throughout the conversation, she was like, this is Ashley, Elena's best friend, and you and I have problems. I don't know why, once I heard that, well not heard it because we were texting or like instant messaging, I remember looking at that and I was like, she was texting me the whole time. She was texting, it wasn't, it wasn't Elena at all. Elena's looking like while she's texting me, being ridiculous. Like she's hiding behind Ashley. So I literally sent the text, I think it was you, with no context. So you can only imagine what happened next, right? Ashley was going in on my ass. Like she was just like, don't you ever think that I ever spread a rumor about my best friend? Y'all don't even talk, you just this, you that. She was like, I'ma beat your skinny ass. You better be ready, run up. Don't wear jeans tomorrow because it's fighting on site. Like I was like, I was like, what? I was literally was like, this is not happening. I was like, what the f I dead thought that I was helping a girl. Like I literally was like, this is not real. This, I'm, you know what? I think it's time for me to mind my business. This is a lesson for me to mind my business. Cause clearly telling a girl what, sh what you heard about her, who used to be your really good friend back in the day, it's a problem. And I was like, you know what? Fine. I am the type of person that just like I just get to the point to where like I just don't want to deal with nothing anymore like you can go off and yell at me all you want to but there is a cutoff and I just end up tuning you out I stop listening I'm like you know what I ain't got the time nor the patience nor the you know energy to be feeding into your bullshit so I I've always been like that like I've, like so many problems going on and it's going on for a while I'm just like like once I hit my cutoff, it's just. Like it literally does not phase me anymore. I get mad, then you get mad. And if you're still talking about it, I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't care anymore. Like I literally stopped caring. And so when she was going off on me, I was literally saying, I was like, what I meant was I think it was you texting me the whole time. But if you want to beat my ass, that's fine. Like I was like, we can talk tomorrow. And she was like, on, she was like, bet on site, like no problem. And I was like, she was like, don't let me see you till tomorrow. Don't let me catch you tomorrow. And I'm like, I mean, the school's not that big girl. Like I like we didn't have a class. I didn't have a class with Elena or Ashley. And I'm like, I mean, but we have lunch together. So I mean, the, all the grades have lunch at the same time I was like like I'm going to see you tomorrow there's no way like I can avoid you I'm not gonna try to avoid you because you doing too much right now like I remember just thinking like oh my god like I remember being scared but I wasn't scared because I was about to get in a fight I was scared because I was like I, I don't know if the scared is the right word because I was so upset because I literally thought that I was doing the right thing who knew that I wasn't doing the right thing? And so I remember I was telling my mom this, like, cause me and my mom shared the same room. And as I was going through the messages, I was like, mom, this girl, you remember Elena? And she was like, yeah, well, you know, what about her? And I was like, well, I heard a rumor about Elena and I told her about it and now she is trying to fight me. And then my mom was like, what, why? Like, wow, you can't, Wow, I never knew she would grow up to be that type of girl. You know what I'm saying? And I just remember, remember my mom being like, okay, don't wear jeans tomorrow, Whitney. She was like, get her under the elbows. That hurts a lot. Make sure you get her under the elbows. My mother is so funny, my goodness. Cause I was just like, you're not gonna, you know, come up there with me. You're not gonna tell the teacher. You're just gonna tell me to get her under the elbows. You kidding, not the elbows, the armpit, my gosh. But I was like, you kidding me right now? So I'm on my own, I gotta fight them. Is that what you're saying to me? And like, <laughs> I just remember being so upset. Cause I'm like, I swear to you, this was nothing but good intentions. Like I should have not said a, God damn thing like I should have never opened my mouth but here I am now so here comes the next day and you know I'm going through my day I told my friends about it I was like I heard a rumor about Elena I told her about it and now she wants to beat my ass like I don't get it and then they were like damn Whitney you shouldn't have said anything damn I didn't hear anything like that and I was like oh 
I remember telling Emily like what I heard while we were in the store and she was she was like I didn't hear anything and I was like I cannot I am not making this up I am so serious like I am so serious <laughs> I was like I was literally trying to vouch for myself like here I was like I do not want to be mixed up in any of this nor do I want to get in an altercation. Like, it's just not on my plans for today. Like, can we schedule this some other time where we could talk about it, like, as adults, even though we were 12? <laughs> I'm like, who is trying to fight at 12? But like, apparently everybody is trying to fight at 12. And so here we go to the most scariest point in my seventh grade year. I guess it was seventh grade. <sighs> Lunchtime. I go and get my food, I get my stuff. I peep Elena and Ashley far by the windows cause they sat by the windows in the lunchroom and they're just sitting there talking and they're around other people cause they were popular, I wasn't, whatever. And then I go to my group of friends and I sit down at my table. I eat my food, we're having a good time, we're kicking, you know, we're, we're doing the damn thing. I end up forgetting about it because, you know, if they were going to pull up on me, they would have by now. They knew where I was, I knew where they were, they haven't come over to me yet and I know that they've seen me. It's not that big of a school. And so I was like, okay, maybe it was just all talk because, you know, like, they ain't doing nothing, they could have come up to me by now, like, whatever, right? And so at this point, I'm like, okay, Emily, come on, let's go get something from the vending machine. I don't remember. I feel like I was getting like candy or something like that. And I remember going over there and we were standing there trying to figure out what we were going to get. So I look at that. I look at the vending machine and I'm like, hmm, there's nothing, anything really in here. And I turn around and I look at Emily and I'm like, do you want anything? Because like, I don't really want anything. She was like, no, but... And she looks to the side and I'm like, what? And I turn around and I see Ashley coming towards me. And I look at the vending machine and I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to fight. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I remember being like, oh my God, oh my God. Under the armpit, under the armpit, under the armpit. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm wearing jeans today. Oh my God, like I literally wore jeans that day. And I turn around again and I'm like, looking at Emily and I'm like here we go <laughs> and so Ashley pulls up and I'm looking at her and I was like yes <laughs> I kid you not I know my voice shook I know it for a fact that my voice shook because ain't no way in hell that didn't show because I was terrified uh, I was scared <sighs> I was scared <laughs> and so she comes up to me and she was like did you ask anybody about the rumor? I was like, no, why would I do that when you guys thought that I was going to tell everybody? And she was like, I didn't think you told everybody. I think you started it. And I was like, well, I didn't. And she was like, well, okay. Well, Elena's over there really sad because she thinks that everybody thinks that she is, you know, this person who goes around with other people and she's not dating. Why am I looking over there? And she's, <laughs> and she's not dating, you know, D'Angelo and she told D'Angelo about it and he was like just don't worry about it like don't think anything of it and so and she was like she also told me that D'Angelo didn't hear anything about it but she was like but D'Angelo's in eighth grade so how how would he and I was like looking I literally was looking at her like you're you're talking to me as if we're friends I wasn't like trying to be petty or anything like that but she was ha like having a conversational tone with me right and I was like okay cool right and so she's continued talking and she was like did you spread the rumor and I was like I told you yesterday I did not spread the rumor and she was just like okay so who did and I was like I don't know and she was like okay and she turned around and left. So you're really all talk because I dead serious thought that you were about to fight me. But here we are, not in an altercation. I'm not getting my ass whooped right now. What's going on? Like I was expecting a fight, like, <laughs> you know? And so me and Emily go back to my seat, go back to our seats. And I'm like, this is whatever. I hope it's over, right? And so we continue talking to our friends. And then all of a sudden, Emily nudges me like she's like, you know, and I looked at her, but I also saw my peripheral 
that Elena and Ashley were standing right behind me and I turned around and I was like okay hey finally Elena thought that it was it's time for her to speak and she goes if you didn't spread the rumor who did and I said like I told Ashley I don't know I heard it when I was out the other day and I thought to tell you I don't know who told it and she was like who told it and I was like I don't know <laughs> I remember being like that because I was mad irritated and Ashley was like don't get loud we just trying to figure out about the rumor and I was like well I don't care anymore like I, I literally was like I don't care anymore like you guys can figure it out if you want like apparently nobody heard it maybe they were just talking mess and I shouldn't have said anything in the first place like I was like I'm sorry and then literally Elena's response to that was like what is this and I was like she turned around and left mind you what she was referring to is my forehead and I turned around because I knew she was making fun of me because of my hair and my forehead and that was it that was the whole conversation we've never spoken ever since then she's never said anything to me she's never reached out we follow each other on Instagram that was it so the whole thing that we went through that I just heard a rumor and thought to tell my friend or excuse me my ex friend about because I was just trying to look out literally scared me shitless thinking that I was going to get an altercation and a fight with these girls for what for who for you to at the end of the day make fun of me because of my hair and my forehead like <laughs> I was so over it I was like I am never ever speaking to this girl again and I didn't because I was like you're trash like there's a thing about me that it's just like once I get to the point to where I'm done with you I am so done there is nothing you are just scum to me you are nothing to me you are literally like I there's not much that you can do to become my friend again or be on my good side again I am very respectful to people who's out there I'm very cordial but like after a point to where like you disrespected me for the last time I'm done I'm dead it's it's good like I'm just like you know what so thank you guys for joining me today on this story time don't forget y'all I do post videos three times a week and I try to stay consistent you know don't forget to like subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I post a new video story times are coming up and also don't forget you know I have a segment here on my channel called a writer's scope where you send to me whatever advice you need whatever problems you have I will give you my best advice possible to the point to where I will create a video on it and telling you what you should do I do have polls and I do try to get everyone else to engage in the comments because maybe you know my advice may not be the best maybe it's something different maybe it's not but I always give options don't think that my advice is 1000% like you absolutely have to do this otherwise you're gonna get you know the worst outcome out there like don't think it's like that I'm just trying to help you guys in every way that I can even if it is just one person so thank you for joining me today and I'll see you guys in my next video